What's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Golden Sun. This episode's gonna be fun and cool, so make sure you stick around. Alright, so let's see what to do in Suhala. Nope, I don't want to save the game. I would like to give a genie to Garrett. I get a bit closer to that uh, vine. Alright, let's climb up here. Oh, there's a small child. And remember, the first thing you do when you enter a new place? Find the smallest, most hidden, vulnerable child you can and read his mind. Don't do it, kid. I I heard that Toby's Colossal is a warrior's festival. But I wonder what a warrior's festival is like. Okay. The workers say there, there are huge festivals in Toby. I'd like to see one. Okay, well, did you see that chest? The treasure chest, that is, not the, not the channel's chest. Okay. I'm going to stop talking about children now. Alright, let's go. What's this doing here? There's a nut. Man. We're leveling up so much. Let's use this on... What? How has Gareth got the... How has Isaac got the lowest defense? It's that darn elven shirt. Yeah, we'll probably get him a better bit of a uh, bit of armor. I think we should. Let's see. Well, let's talk to the people at the inn first. What's your situation? I wonder if any customers can get through those sandstorms. First, they'd have to want to come through the desert. For some reason, anyone who gets caught in a sandstorm winds up here. They all give up and trying to cross the desert and take shelter in Sahara. Okay. Side. Nothing to do. Maybe we'll see business once Toby's festival ends. Okay. Once the festival ends, the travellers will head here for Lalavero. If they just get caught in the sandstorms, they'll be my customers. So he wants them to get caught. Yeah. So, uh, I suppose we're supposed to do the Toby quest first. Before we come to this place, you see. And, um, we'll probably do that. But, you know, I like to check things out at my own leisure. Okay. Okay, you got that? You got that? Okay. Hello. Welcome. Rarities, hey? Yes, you don't have anything that interests me. You don't have anything that interests me at all. Goodbye. I will take my business to somewhere where my interests are. You can't get to Southern Gondam from here, can you? There are many natural obstacles. There is no way to cross them. I am hearing that one of these obstacles is a desert. Are you trying to get to Lalavero? I guess I am. Making it through the sandstorms is impossible. Don't bother. The people of Lalavero have been worked hard by Angara soldiers. No one would dare make Sahalans work like that. <sighs> Anything to steal? Toby probably ignores small villages like Sahala, doesn't it? Now that I think about it, that's probably for the best. Yeah, I'd rather be from a village than a big city. Sahala is a desert village. I guess it will never be like Lalavero. I've heard a lot of it is Lalavero. Across the Null River. But you can't get across the River Delta. Alright, so we're just learning about the geography of the place. Ah, uh, okay. Hello. We Gondwins will never trust anyone from Angara. You know why? Sheba, the holy child of Lalavero, was taken away as a hostage to Tolby. We met her. That's poor exposition about her. The ruler of Tolby took a girl named Sheba hostage to control Lalavero. We'll never trust anyone from Angara. Dear, oh dear. That's heavy politics. My father loves people so much he can't help but aid anyone in trouble. But I love my father despite his faults. What? When I see people in trouble, I just can't sit still. I guess I'm just my father's child. I don't, I don't get why she said, but I love my father despite his faults. Who's her father? The guy outside? Let me know if you have any problems. I'll do anything I can to help. Are you the father? You're too young to be the father. I want to help people so badly I can't sit idly by. Okay. Maybe that's his fault. He was too young to have a kid. Did I speak to you? The desert spirits only create sandstorms when they are angry. I know the desert spirits will exact their vengeance on Babby for this. Okay. 
So this is a pretty small place that we'll return to once we have figured everything out with Toby. Okay, so the Sahara Desert. I don't think we can really... Oops. I don't think we can really do anything here yet. Uh, a magic core appeared. Mortal danger. Nice. No effect. How strong is he? He's quite strong. Is this a random encounter or is it the uh, whirlwind? Let's go inside. Okay. Oh, we could open the menu there. So we could take him back to Sahala. Let's rest up. 72 coins! 72! What a rip-off! Oh, I hate this! Okay. So let's, let's go out. Let's go back. And... I think we can use Whirlwind to stop it once we're inside. So let's try that. Oh. Oh. Maybe we can use... Oh, I think I know what we're supposed to do. Check this out. Now we fight the tornado lizard. Took me a minute to remember which synergy spell to use. Okay, we're taking quite a lot of damage. Nice. Quite strong now. Hey, we made it through. Okay, what else is this way? Oh, chest! Oh, virtuous armlet! That's sick. Used to restore 100 HP. It's gonna lower attack though on everyone. Uh, a little boost. Don't know. Yeah, we'll use that in exchange for the fan brace. All right, more defense, less attack, and we'll sell the fan brace. How many items have we got? Look, we've got three slots. It's not very many, my love. I oh, okay. We are not likely to win this. If we don't fight right now, Nova, that seems powerful. We can't use any synergy, so let's just restore party HP. Nice. I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. So I might just go. Oh dear. We're going to have to get out of it though. Dear, oh dear. Okay. Tornado. Ah. Ah. Win. 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 There we go. That was pretty close. Nice. Trade these back. Let's go a bit further. Um, let's just carry on. I guess we can go this way, so we'll we'll do it. <laughs> Another tornado lizard. Rock the rock. Heat wave. Storm and you need to heal yourself, don't you? Heal yourself, heal yourself. Are you gonna 
laser attack there. I'm going to heal up. Should have done that before. Uh, now we're just going to... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're just going to attack everyone. Mortal Danger. Very cool. Frostbite. Very cool. Uh huh. My attacks. Nice. Ooh, we just learned revive. So that's basically a waters of life. Uh, but as a spell, we haven't have we used any waters of life this uh, this game. I can't remember if we've done it or not. If we've done it or not, leave me a comment below and let me know. Assuming that anyone's watching. Ah, you're watching. Let's go to the right. Let's just hug the right. Okay. Uh, and we do another one. And we fight another guy. It's so easy to win. Yeah, so let's talk about something um, unrelated to the game. Because I'm just going to do more of the same thing. Uh, let's Terror Strike. Let's talk about... Oh, I think we've got every critical there. Uh, let's talk about... Hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams, dreams and hopes. I have hope that my dreams will come true. I hope that your dreams come true. It's kind of like a weird thing, that, like, oh, my dreams will come true. I guess, you know, if you have like a dream that's like to um, be a famous actor, world star, you know, it might not ever happen. <laughs> but it might happen, that's the thing. What an adventure it would be to find out if you could do it. Um, say that you wanted to be like a famous actor. Uh, uh, you would have to be very good at rejection because you'd have to go to auditions and it may not, you know, be uh, very immediate. It might be years before you even start seeing any results. But in that time, you would become very... Um, thick skin, you know, you'd grow a lot as a person, you'd have lots of experiences, you'd learn a heck of a lot about your craft. Uh, so there, I think, is an example of just having a dream, and it's kind of, like, it coming true or not is kind of like, not the point, it's sort of, it might just be that you going on that path will give you the life that you want that you need, not, not all you want, that you need. Um, you know, I'm not saying to go out and book acting lessons tomorrow, I'm just saying, figure out what it is that you want to do, that you enjoy more than anything. Like, what what's the thing that you enjoy the most? And you should just freaking do that, man, why not? One life, because people play it safe sometimes, I think, and then they, they wake up and then and they go, oh my god, I never, I never did the thing that I dreamed of, or, you know, they regret. And I don't want that for anyone. So if there's even any chance that someone's listening to this, and they're 50-50 on whether or not they should go for their dreams, I'm going to say, you go for it, man. Oh, lady. Oh, lady. Don't be inclusive these days in your speech. Yeah. There we go. That's my uh, positive message. This one is to spread the love, because you know, I uh, yeah, I believe I believe that you can. You can do it. All right. So we talked about something then for about a minute or so, a minute or two, about something that wasn't uh, directly in front of me. So I'm multitasking here. You proud? You proud of me? Oh no! Yeah, so I'm gonna try and do that more. Like, what the heck? Mortal Danger just o code that thing. That was sick, yo. And Water of Life, that's great. Hey man, life's looking good. I'm feeling pretty good today. Let's not go that way. Don't wanna fight. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and do that more. Do you want more? Well, this guy's gonna blow up on me. Um,. Ah, uh, suicide bombing. 
Uh, basically, I'm going to try and like talk about things which are not immediately in front of me on the screen. I'm going to test my ability to uh, hold a topic, <laughs> you know, whilst whilst doing this game. I could try right now. Let's pick a different topic. Topic at random. Uh, sports. Sports. Yeah. Oh. Talk about. Talk about all the different sports you can play. The range. You know. You can fish. That's a sport. Fishing is a good sport because I see it like it's about everything but fishing in a way. What do I mean by that? Well, oh look at that. We did that again. Mortal danger. Basically, if you want to catch a fish, you have to have patience. You have to have patience, you have to sit for a long time and watch your uh, bait, watch the little thing to float. you got to wait for the little fish to come along and get your bait and pull that thing down. And, uh, you know, that's when you have to act and do something. Up until then, it might be like half an hour of just waiting, you know. Uh, at which point, thoughts will come in. And it's like, oh god, what did I do uh, wrong in my early teens? <laughs> you know? And, um, and if you're not comfortable with that, then you're gonna run out of patience before the fish arrives. And uh, you can think about everything to anything in the time it takes for that fish to come along. And you have to be alright with that. So that's why I say fishing. Is about everything that there is, and uh, least of all how to catch a fish. Do you think fishing's about how to, how to catch a fish? <laughs> You're poorly mistaken, my friend. You're poorly mistaken. Ooh, a weasel's claw. We'll probably not need that. So we're just gonna throw that away to take it on valuable space. Yeah. Yep, so that's my take on sports. Um, yeah, that's kind of fun, just saying stuff. Hey, chest. Oh, lucky medal. Guess where that's going? Straight in the Tolby pool. Middle one. Okay, we'll go for that chest later. Get this out of the way first. What else can we talk about? Another topic. Uh, you know, if I was streaming on Twitch right now, I could just um, ask for a topic. But seeing as though I'm not doing that, nice. I will uh, provide the topics myself. Okay, brand new topic. Can I get a location? <laughs> um, a jewelry store. Yeah, jewelry. What's that about? Well, Ben, jewelry is a way of showcasing your status to other people. Women like to wear jewelry, and men, and men. Gotta be inclusive these days, especially in his speech. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mastered the gallant's clay spire, level 20. That's pretty cool, level 20 cleric. Um, what was I saying? Ooh, a cookie. <laughs> um, Boost maximum PP, we'll give that to you. Eat that cookie. Uh, jewelry, yeah, jewelry is, uh, you wear a lot of jewelry because it looks nice, it's very glittery. Probably goes back to the times when having jewelry meant that you were, uh, oh dear, we could actually die now. That you were high status because they were hard to get, like diamonds are a girl's best friend. Diamonds, they are hard to get. Diamonds. They cost a lot of dough. So if you have diamonds, it's like, wow, you really know how to get money. Okay, let's move on to another topic, because I feel like uh, I don't really know much about jewelry. I don't really wear jewelry myself. I have a watch, and I used to have um, an earring, but I had to take it out because of uh, work when I worked at Domino's Pizza. Other pizza brands are available. Um, and then it healed over, but it's kind of scarred now, so I've got like permanent scarring on my ear. It's so sad, but hey. 
I actually got that pierced at a festival. And um, I just got my friend to like pour some <laughs> vodka on a earring. Ah, go away. Okay. Pour some vodka on an earring and then use a lighter to sterilize it and he just pushed it right through my ear. The storm lizard. This guy's a bit tougher, so we're gonna treat him with a bit more respect. Give self defense. Uh just resistance, and then we're gonna try and send him to sleep. So, you know, I'm not saying that jewellery isn't good for guys, just for me personally. I can't talk for everyone. I'm not everyone. If you wear necklaces, that's cool. If you have earrings and you're a guy, that's cool. Please don't die. Okay, this is not good. Let's, uh... Create a barrier and let's just heal with everyone else. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Yeah. So whatever you want to wear, that's cool. Uh, if that's how you feel on the inside. You wear that. You wear that dog. Oh, ain't it hard to be a man? Ain't it hard to be a man? We're gonna win this. No one's gonna die. Store HP. We attacking you, dog. Yeah, um, I love like those hoop earrings that girls wear. They kind of remind me of the 90s. I was a child in the 90s. I was born in 1995. Life Nourish, Mystery Blade. Let's go. Can we get some hype in the chat for the Mystery Blade? Push, push. <laughs> hype, hype, hype. You use it. Eating all those nuts. They're good for you. Get some nuts! Um. Whee! Okay, nice. Nice, you guys. How far are we? No! Garrett! I got you, Garrett. I'm gonna heal you, dude. Waters of life. Uh, I've got a feeling that you're gonna get hit again, so I'll use that. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, Garrett. Oh, no. You know, Lindsay Lohan can't swim a stroke, but she sure knows every dive in town. <laughs> okay. I feel like we're gonna lose. Don't say that, Ben. Don't say that, Ben. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Difficult fight. You use this. You use this. Okay, come on. Alright. So it gets a second attack, doesn't it? You didn't expect this, did you? Oh, he's still here. It's actually proving to be quite the challenge. Okay. Um, heal. Heat wave. Atlanta. Uh, do we have wish? No. Go on, we're going to aggressive. Go on, aggressive. I think we've got this. Got a good feeling. Remember the last time you had a good feeling? No. Oh. oh my, it's all down to you. Ah, oh, still alive. Oh no. Okay. Alright, this is not good. Not gonna lie. But we can stay in this. If we believe. If we believe. Uh, 
I don't think that he can attack Mia and um, Isaac in the same hit because they're both far apart. So we're just gonna. Oh, actually, use that. And then we'll use this. Nice. Let's go. Oh, it didn't work. No! This is not good. Sap. Yes, come on, baby. It's gonna use two. All right. If this doesn't work, <sighs> oh no! If we die, what happens? Do we lose all our progress? I don't want that to happen. <laughs> you don't see anything. Okay. Doesn't matter because we're gonna win right now. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we come back here. Alright, well. Looks like we need to go and uh, spend some money to revive. This is actually the first death in the game. And it does not feel good. We were in a place that was too high a level for us. We were outmatched by the Storm Lizard. Dear, oh dear. Yeah, I was thinking here about TikTok and like social media, and everyone says, oh, social media is the worst thing for a generation. Uh, I think it's hilarious, man. I've just changed my opinion on that today. I'm just looking at TikTok, it's like the algorithm knows me so well. Like my humor, it's so, I have the most stupid humor ever, but it, it, so do loads of other people. And it's only by the miracle of the algorithm and social modern social media that I'm able to connect with these people um, at the power of my fingertips so yeah I like social media I think it's a force for good whoa check this out wait so is that where we need to go is that where we need to go Kobold. Those are totally like a D&D &D thing. Let's kill them. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, so, um, let's have a look around the world then. I don't want to go to, uh, you know, back in the desert straight away. I don't worry. I'll have a look around, see if the there's a cave or something that I missed there. I seem to remember there being mention of a cave that Babby, the ruler of Tolby, who's over a hundred years old, is currently dwelling. It's crazy because we can actually get through the desert, I think, now. So yeah, we'll um we'll go there. We'll go there. But we'll have a look around first. Oh, uh, just let me run. Random encounters. I swipe left on random encounters. I'm gonna use that sacred feather right now. It's pretty nifty. Okay. Uh, let's go up, just checking out what's over here. We, we run. Nothing there, let's run to the left. We run. We run again. There we go. Orc captain. He just looks like a pig. It does not. Pig man. It's like half man. Half pig, half orc. He's man, orc, pig. I'm totally serial, you guys. What are you to say? Even if you head east, you can't get to Calais from here. Even a few reckless warriors have tried, but none have ever returned. But us were the soldiers who guard the bridge to Gondor. It's not like anyone's ever going to attack the bridge, though. There's not much sense in guarding it. Do you wish to cross into Gondor? Yes. I won't stop you, but I wouldn't go unless I had business there. I'd go to Tolby and watch Colosso. That's what I'd do. I think, okay, that's, that's 
the game telling me that I should uh, go to Colossa and Torby. But I was just there. Maybe this is the way to the ca <gasps> the cave. Gondolin cave. All right. Let's go left. Sacred feathers of petal roar. Uh, I don't want to go there yet. Rat warrior. Oh, I think that's a critical hit, and I suppose that is a magic item effect. Magical item effect? Question mark. Do you even? Guess we'll go this way first. Oh, you damn dirty ape. There we go. Okay. So I should have gone this way. Oh, we haven't used halt on anyone yet. That should be funny. Yeah, next time we see an NPC, we're going to use halt on them. Sacred feather time. Even after all those magical items, we still couldn't beat the storm wizard. Okay. These caves. I'll fight one guy who's on his own because he can just use, you know, mash the A button and there. Uh, not waste any pee pee. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, dirty ape. Terror strike. Nice. Is this a mimic? It's a lucky medal. Hooray. I like lucky medals. It's a shiny red apple. Boost attack. Yeah, I mean your attack is disgraceful. Let's get that up. Oh, you can go both ways. That's cool. Looks like we'll have to uh, backtrack this a little bit later on. Nice, level 20. Oh no, wait, no, we did backtrack. Yeah, we don't need to do any of that. Run. Free bite rush. Ow! Why would you do that? That's so not cool. So I guess now we would go back. Oh no. <gasps> I know where this is. This is on uh, the way to Calais, so we can get back to the first part of the game now. Do we want to though? Do we want to though? Do we want to though? I don't think we want to though. Where is Babby? Tell me where is Babby, for I much desire to speak with him. Alright, so... Uh, this isn't where we're supposed to go then. No, it is not. Come in. Do you want some food? Uh, yes, please. What do you want? What have you got? Um, I can do some uh, pasta bolognese. Pasta bolognese. You don't fancy that. Huh? Do you not fancy that? No. Uh, got curry. Curry, yeah. Curry and rice. Curry and rice, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah you want that? Good. It's a chicken sarg. Chicken sarg, yeah, sounds good. All right, okay. That was my mum, you guys. <laughs> now back to the game. <laughs> mom, get out of my room! I'm streaming Golden Sun! <laughs> okay. So that's not the right way to go. I caught my surprise, that hasn't happened in a long time. I don't know. Okay, so I'm 
thinking, we'll have another look around, and then we'll try the deserts again. Do, 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 do. That's Toldy. Anything to the left? Uh, yes, an island. Armored rat is defending. I would too if I was an armored rat. Oh, let's go left. Go away. I don't want to fight you. We ran out of herbs there. Which sucks. This looks more promising. Oh my god! I'm so glad we went left. It's a genie! That would really just surprise me actually. Life Nourish, Mystery Blade. Hello! We did it! Victory is ours. And a new friend to join us. Hail. Z Hail now. Effective of unleashing a battle frees a foe to raise what did that say? To drop its defense, of course. I was thinking, why would it I ever use that if it raises its defense? <laughs> I wouldn't. Okay, let's go back. You guys, I don't want to fight you. Can't we all just get along? Okay. All you bullies get out of my way, cause I am really ticked off. Okay, well, we'll go to that cave soon, but I want to check out the little beach. I wonder if fighting on the beach has a different, uh... Oh, I know where this is. Does this mean we're getting another genie? Are we getting another genie right now? After like one minute of... Between one minute of getting another genie? We are! Oh my gosh. Genie city. Population us, bro. <laughs> Ground. Oh yeah. Use gravity to hold a foe. And look how much stronger we're getting. That's how serious boosts my stats. I love it. No change to the moves. But hey, you can't have it all in life. You can't be too greedy. I just want to have a little random encounter here on the beach. See if this will affect anything. It does. The background is different that week. Let me escape. I hate you moles. I think you can check the water. I want to go down. Will it look down? No, never mind. Very cool, you guys. Oh, we're not going to get another random encounter now. Told you. Old Miller Cave. This is where we're supposed to be. Ooh, this little circle there, indicating that it's dark in this cave. No mage. You're dead. Okay. Topic. Uh, what about drafts? They're pretty weird. I can't really see. Oh, I can see. I can see when I get attacked. I don't think that's intentional. These things are quite weak. Uh, yeah, drafts. If you didn't know that a draft existed, and then someone showed you one, you'd be like, whoa, wait, you are having my leg. You're pulling my leg. You're having a draft, man. Uh, mimic. I don't really care. There's still treasure in you. It's just in your belly. And I need to empty it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. But we're just like, yeah, because drafts exist. We, we don't talk about it all the time. It's just like, yeah, of course there are drafts. There are these weird, like, horses with mega long necks. But I just want to talk about how I think they're weird. I'm, you know, that's right, I'm saying it. <laughs> I'm saying it right now. <laughs> I'm acknowledging the weirdness of drafts. And who's going to stop me? 
That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Dreadhound. We've got to fight the Dreadhounds. Like, if, if Dreadhounds were just wandering around, would we get normalised to that? Yeah, of course there's two-headed dog dragons with mohawks in caves. They're Dreadhounds. But they'd be in a zoo, really. And, you know, they'd be like a two-year-old kid just, like, throwing stuff at it. Throwing its, like, sweet wrapper in. Hey, what's this? You, you can't see me. Someone's there. Rats and synergy, synergetic light. Who could it be? You know about synergy and you can see me? Come on, mister, don't hide. Show yourself. Even if I wanted to show myself, as you can see, I cannot move. What do you mean, as you can see? You're invisible. Haha, <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> you say you can't move, what happened? Mm, yes, I ran out of my drought. Oh, that's still that said draft then, and collapsed here. Draft? Exactly what kind of draft is it? You couldn't even begin to comprehend if I tried to tell you. Cough. You seem to be in a lot of pain. Your life depends on that draft, huh? It does. Could you do me a favour? A favour? What is it? I'd like you to get my draft for me. Get it. Where is it? Deep in this cave. What? Is there a pharmacy down there? Don't be silly. Witty, aren't we? I'll have to tell you how to find it. Can you do this for me? Yes. Are you kidding, Isaac? We haven't even actually seen this guy. He said he couldn't move even if he wanted to, right? Someone is in trouble. It's only natural to want to help. I agree with Ivan. Whoever he is, he needs our help. Fine, okay, we should help people in need. Is that better? Yeah, good, 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 good. Will you get it for me? What do we have to do to get your draft? First, you'll have to go deep in the cave, yes. Deep in the cave, we established that. You'll find five rocks sticking up out of the ground. Rotate the rocks on the left and right sides. When you turn the rocks in the right order, five coloured lights will appear. Coloured lights, that sounds weird. That's right, lights will appear on the wall. There will be five colours. Blue, green, white, yellow and red. Blue, green, white, yellow and red. Turn the five rocks in accordance with these colours. Right, spin the rocks in accordance with the colour of the light. The blue light corresponds to the rock farthest to the left. The blue, right, the blue light corresponds to the rock farthest to the left. In order, the other rocks are green, white, yellow and red. So it goes blue, green, start from the left, clockwise. Blue, green, white, yellow and red. So I think like blue is the ocean, green, uh, plants. So ocean, plants, white, that's the sea foam. Yellow is the sun, red is the, uh, like, I don't know, blood. But I'm just thinking how I'm going to remember it. Blue, so the ocean, then the ocean plant gets hit by sea foam, the sun comes up and makes it bloody. When you see the light, rotate the corresponding rock. So in order left to right, the colours are blue, green, white, yellow and red. 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 Correct. If you do this correctly, a door will open. Blue, green, white, yellow, and red. An ancient civilization, long since vanished. Oh, please hurry. He seems to be in a lot of pain. We better find the cave, Isaac. Blue, green, white, yellow, and red. Okay. Let's do it. Let's read your mind. If they don't get me that draft eye, ah. Uh, oh, what? No, I didn't forget. Wait. The draft is on the table behind the door. Okay. Okay. Oh, just let me. Oh! <laughs> so angry. I'm gonna run again. I'm gonna run again, yeah? Blue, green, white, yellow, and red. These are the colors I need to remember. Blue, 
BGWYR. Yep. Okay, good. We're making good progress. It's this way. I don't know, slow. Lights in here. Blue, green, white, yellow, red. Uh, okay, this looks like you go here if you fall. Okay. Oh, a genie. My favorite. So, how do I do this? I need to push this out of the way. What's this about? Looks like I need to. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna freeze this now. We'll try again. Gosh, I wish those would last longer. Okay, nice, so, we can push this one down now, oh, but now I'm stuck, well, that's okay, so I can push it out of the way and then push it back, <laughs> hello, do I have to fight you, yes I do, oh, uh, don't make me, if you run away that's going to be very aggravating, because uh, I'll have to do that puzzle again. Yeah, this shouldn't make these genies uh, nice. Run away. Oh, we killed it. We're getting stronger. The more we get, the more our stats increase. Uh, baby girl. We got Squall! Paralyze a foe with a storm. And just out of interest, let's see what this does. Oops, to um, your stats, so it's, yeah, it's a lot worse, especially his HP. Defense goes way down, agility goes up though. Astral Blast. None of these spells are worth it though. Okay, what if I do that? Wind Slash, Plasma, Fire. Just, I'm just checking the spells, you know. What does this give you? Hail Prism. I guess it's pretty cool. What does this do? Uh, Froth Spear. I guess there are, you know, I've just never used them, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, Alright. It's interesting, but not ha ha interesting. <laughs> okay, more darkness. I was born in a darkness, molded by it. My mum is making me a chicken sol, whatever that is. <laughs> Mom, I told you not to come in my room whilst I'm recording Golden Sun on the Game Boy. Oh, my mom is so nice. Let's go. Hey, a cookie. Don't you love it when a cookie appears? Give that to Maya because she is the one who's wishing us all to full health. She's kind of like the party cleric, you know what I mean? Okay, let's let her go. This way. We need to stock up on more herbage and sacred featherage. I'm in a brain fart or something? Did I just come here or what? No, 
that's all good. Is there anything down there? I have to know. Sorry. I gotta find out. It's like an itch in my brain that has to be scratched. Otherwise, I'll get angry. Okay, now I know. I can go back. Even though it wasted your time and my time. At least I'm happy. So you guys uh, enjoy this or what? I've been talking to myself for a long time. And I need reassurance that I'm doing a good job. You're doing a great job, Ben. Oh, thank you, Scottish Ben. No problem, mate. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, what are we doing? So we're going to hear... We need to know what the situation is, you know what I mean? Oh, we didn't have to do anything. We just had to go this way. We can push it, though. For the lols. Alright, so. The ocean was... Blue. And then the green made the sea foam white. And then the yellow raised the sun. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. What? <laughs> These rocks kind of look like butt cheeks. What? Uh, I'm supposed to rotate the rocks. How? They're not changing colour. And they're not rotating either. Uh, I'm pretty stuck actually, I don't know what I'm doing. Why aren't they... I'm supposed to rotate the rocks? Alright, I'm stuck. I know I didn't try for very long, but I'm just going to Google it. Because man don't have time to be... not knowing stuff. Okay, so this is a uh, Gondolin Cave Rock Rotation. Oh, Old Nether Cave, sorry. And this says to, once it loads, Uh, yeah, we've got Genie Squall. Uh, da -da 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 -da. In the next large room, plug the arrows for uh, get the cookie. Yeah, we got that. Oh, yeah. Slide down. This side, enter the door between. You're in a room with five rocks. If you cast reveal here, you'll see that they are uh, blue, green, white, yellow, and red. Interact with and spin the two rocks at the opposite ends of the arrangement to cause. Oh. Yeah. We did it. Hooray. <laughs> now what? Uh, uh, I still don't know what to do. Alright. Because I'm already on the page, I'll just... Oh, <laughs> I get it. So we need to spin this one. I get it now. You made me get it more. Color white. This this one. Oh, that sounds good. Ooh, and then the door is opened. This must be the draft. The mystic draft. Let's drink it. A strangely coloured mysterious potion. Details? An important item. Okay. Let's deliver this post haste. Uh oh. Looks like I forgot. 
not to use the sacred feather. Hello? Oh, my curry is ready. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Some water there as well. <laughs> Thanks. There you go. That's it. Okay. Enjoy. All right. Bring your plate down later. Okay, Mum. <laughs> and now back to the game. <laughs> Uh, I should probably get a job. I'll move out of my parents' basement. <laughs> but no. Alright, I should probably uh, end it here because my meal is ready. <laughs> Let's fight this battle. Forcible arm. Let's fight this battle and then in the next episode of Golden Sun, we will return... The uh, Mad Mystic Draft to uh, that mysterious person who is lying, unconscious. Well, he's conscious, but he just can't move. We will. And we'll find out what he's about, hey? Hiya! Attack! There we go. Alright, well, thanks ever so much for watching. This has been an exciting episode of the Gaming Dojo. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!